Okay guys, uh, here we go. We're going to look at some new filters today as we work our way through them. And here we have an image of Miley Cyrus. Okay, uh, I'm going to zoom in on Miley. Not a very good image, you know, very pixelated. Um, so what can we do? Well, let's go up here and look at filter and oil paints here. This is an odd place for it, I think. I don't know why it's not in the filter gallery here with, let's just say, with everything else artistic, such as watercolors and um, palette knives and dry brush, all painting techniques, but it's not there. For some reason, they decide to put it here. I also am not sure it's in the newest version of Creative Cloud. I was looking online, and it seems like they may have re removed it. But anyhow, we have it for CS6. So let's play with it and see what it does. So here we go. We're going to just zoom in. And so we got our layer here, oil paint me. First thing I want to do whenever I can possibly use a filter is go ahead and convert it for smart filters. And you'll notice, yep, yep, yep. You'll notice that little thing comes here, which means this layer is now a smart layer. Because I can do certain things to it and other things I cannot do. But one of the things I can now do is apply this filter. And you'll notice some of these went away. All right, so there's a good example of whenever you make a smart fill, smart layer, things don't always work. So we hit oil paint, and it's, it's pretty cool. You got all these different features here, and we'll just play with them. I just start from the top, stylize. I think I like mine a little smaller. I'm trying to make it look natural as I can. Uh, cleanliness, maybe not quite somewhere in there, perhaps scale. You know, look at the difference. Again, I like it kind of small scale. <clears throat> Brush detail. And it's a little pattern like if you ask me. I remember we talked earlier about using filters. I'd probably use this one in conjunction with another one. This one, you know, angular direction. You can slowly see how it's shifting, changing the angle of the strokes. So, you know, find something that works for you and shine. Look at the difference. That's full shine. No, it needs a little to be able to pick up as if it's uh, so something like that. And already that's better. Hit OK. And we can take a different look at the difference. Yeah, look at that. You know, compared to turn it on and off, that really pixelated image. It's a lot more interesting. So it's a good start. All right. Oil paint. Again, there it is. Use it sparingly, I would say, if at all. But, you know, it could be something you need to pull out to save a bad photograph for the very least. All right, so let's turn that off. And we're going to just look at this here. Now we have another layer. layer. This one is really cool. I didn't know anything about this. I checked it out, and I like this one a lot. So we have this wall here that's in perspective. I'm going to click on that wall and go to Filter Vanishing Point. And check this out. And there's your wall. Go ahead and just go ahead and grab the top one here. Don't worry about all this other mess here. This is what we want. Okay, so we're going to come here, click once, come down, see it's a blue line, click again, click again. And what we're doing is it's making, what's this? This line here, if I put it here, you notice that it's yellow. So that means no good. We want that thing to be blue. So if I'm moving this over, there we go. Ah, it says, yeah, this is good perspective. All right, cool. So, but I need to reach it out to here. So I'm going to zoom out just like I would normally and grab, oops, go back to my piece, uh, my tool here, grab this point and watch that, just pull it and it zooms it right out. Perfect. You know, if I need to make a little adjustments, I can. Oops, but I don't think that's good enough. All right. So nice and blue. And what this does is sets up a grid of perspective. Okay, so what does this do? Well, check this out. I'm just going to hit OK. All right. And we're going to open up this poster of Miley Cyrus Poster Tour. And let's go ahead and hold Command Shift and we make a selection of Miley. Go ahead and hit, hit Copy, Command C. And you can close that. Hit Deselect, so nothing selected. And we're going to go here above this layer here, and we want to make a new layer. We, that way, you're going to see in a minute what's going to happen. So we've got a nice layer with nothing on it. Now go back to filter vanishing point and see what happens. There is our vanishing point that we just made. Now watch this. Edit. Command V. I'm sorry. 
I'm just going to paste that. But we just, uh, so it wouldn't let me pet it, paste it from edit, but I know the shortcut's command V. Okay? And check it out. Come on. Now I have Miley Cyrus's poster working in perspective. If it's too big, I can command T it, I think. Come in here, I can make it smaller. Okay, but watch what happens when I bring it down. It stays in perspective. It's so awesome. This is really cool. So I've never used this, but I may in the future. I really, really, really like this. So there we go, Miley Cyrus poster. Hit OK. And if you hadn't made a new layer, if I'd have put it on this layer, it would have been per, uh, permanently applied to this layer here, the bricks. So that's why I made a new layer. And here's the original one that I copy and pasted. Look, watch it. Look how it follows those bricks perfectly. Well, maybe a little off here, but you know what? Command T. You can always make little changes like that. There we go. Miley Cyrus in concert. So. Two new cool things, especially this one, to use. Uh, next class, we'll look, maybe look into the blur f function. All right? All right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll discuss this next class. Bye.